Hey, you ready for this? I hope so. Because there's no turning back. <laughs> One of the casualties of our Alaskan adventure getting here is our slides. Our slides are fraying this apart. The cables are. This one's pretty bad. So our first task when we get into Fairbanks is going to be to find an RV tech or an RV shop that we can take. Where's Garrett when I need him? <laughs> you know? I know, right? I know why he couldn't just come to Alaska. Garrett, why can't you just like transport here, tele teleport here? Very disappointed in you, man. I mean, come on. You should have just followed us. <laughs> you should have just followed us tech. to Alaska. <laughs> Welcome back to Real Talk Tuesday, because what's more real than wear and tear repairs? He's cutting the cables today. Kind of scared, a little nervous, but I know he can do it. Let's go check it out. Oh, gonna have to repaint all of our stuff. I have a cable that's fraying. It's not broke yet, but it's definitely fraying on this side. Gonna be replaced. Um, I went to the local RV place, Arctic RV. They couldn't get us in until, um, late June, like the 21st of June. And obviously I'm not gonna hang out in Fairbanks that long. So I just bought the parts myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can fix this myself. I've watched a couple videos. It's got some directions, but I do have to take the trim pieces off because we don't have a tall ceiling that I can get over the top of it. I'm sure my wife's thrilled because she's gonna, together, I mean, together, we're going to have to repaint this again. And Usually we just use our warranty yep, um, because our usually. War warranty has come in handy for us a lot, but given the time constraints, uh, we're going to tackle this ourselves. So yeah, it's, it's just the cables and the components that go with the cables. So these are two kits I bought at the you know, local RV store. And so I've also got a phone number I can call if things go really south. <laughs> <laughs> Load up on bug spray um, just to step outside. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Seriously? Seriously? The cot is in the sun too, you know. About to make it inoperable, which is kind of frightening. Yeah. Whenever you're doing anything yourself, it's always kind of scary because, you know, <laughs> you don't want to break it. Okay, here it goes. Like our sun blocker, <laughs> this goes on our, uh, this goes on our door when it's closed. No turning back now. cable this is where it was all frayed up I've taped it up you know it's cut now pulled out of the little holder there channel locks on so that it wouldn't get sucked back in a little piece of duct tape over the wire because I don't have the official like rope cutters so I had to cut them just with you know the wire cutters that we went and bought because um, I didn't want to spend fifty dollars on a tool that would like I'd use like once or twice <laughs> So these work fine to cut the wire. You put a little duct tape or electrical tape around it to keep it from fraying as you cut it. This is the easiest part of the install. This is the little end of the, of the uh, cable. It slits right in there, just like that. And then there's this little rubber grommet that goes right here to hold that in place. Slide side is done. When you buy these um, little kits for this cable replacement, they come with this braided piece of uh, just plastic and it's, uh, everybody calls it the Chinese finger trap. That's exactly what it is. So you put the end of the new cable about halfway in here and it's designed so that what I'm gonna do is attach the other part of the one that I just cut halfway through this side. And so as we pull 
the old cable out from the inside of the rig, it's going to thread this down and through all the pulley systems that it should. Teamwork. All right, ready? Seem to be stalled. I'm going to go inside and see what's happening. So the one we want is this guy here to pull through. Yeah. Gonna put some grease on it. Success! Yep, tight-ish. Okay, got the uh, the pulley all through here. So this is the braided part that's attached. Turn some lights on. And then this is the new cable coming through. Thank the Lord that that worked. Yes. <laughs> so this is the old cable with the factory set up. So you can see, so here's the top. This is the pull in slide. And we're gonna take this off. And there she is. That's the, oh gosh, that's dirty. Oh my gosh. That's the factory end. Here's the new cable right here. And as you can see, they give you absolute, almost double the length that you're gonna need. But this is gonna go in here like this. The cable will crimp back in on itself and the little eye bolt will be what holds it on there. And then you gotta just adjust all the tensioning of everything. Yeah. That's the, wow, the harder part. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not, no, it's really not that bad. This is the tedious part is the oh adjusting. Gosh, so the adjusting and everything. <laughs> I'm really proud of John right now because you John probably don't this. know this, but John really, really dislikes this kind of stuff. <laughs> I will work on a body. Yes. I don't like mechanical He will fix stuff. human beings, but mechanical stuff. He does not enjoy fixing. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there that just really enjoy the do DIY stuff. John is not one of those people. Aaron, on the other hand. Aaron loves this kind of stuff. He loves this kind of stuff. He'll be an engineer. He will. You did cut the right one, right? Uh oh, yeah. Oh. to part two we're, we're doing the kids slide because uh, we have frayed cables on that slide also uh, this one is harder because I don't have any access to it because this walls here what's happening is somewhere in the pulley system those other wires because they're frayed are getting caught and it's just unwinding into probably a ball on the inside there All right, so here's the pulley system. This is the bad cable. This one, it's funny, it has been one that they fixed already because you can see it's got the same eye bolt and a crimp on it. I'm just, that's the, that's the wire ball that I couldn't get it to pass through. So, it's a mess. so tired and sore. Cut up. They cut up, yeah. In the end, we fixed our slides, John fixed our slides, for $70 and some time spent on the internet looking things up. Not a bad deal. So the moral of the story is even if you think you can't, you might give it a shot and surprise yourself. That's it for today. We'll see you out there. And then there's this one that I'm currently working on, which is... <laughs> <laughs> it's too loose. <laughs>